right guys welcome to my channel again um i'm gonna go ahead and do some packing today okay and a little bit of um explanation on the absorbers and bags okay i'm gonna go ahead and pack macaroni and cheese i normally put two in each um six by nine by three bags okay um let me go ahead and write it down you know i write down the product what it is um mac and cheese i'm gonna put two boxes because that's what it is so when it's time to make it they know there's two boxes there and today's day what's today's day the 13th Two boxes macaroni and cheese and today's date because you have to put the date that you pack it okay so let me open it now everybody been asking if this bag because it's clear is good yes it's okay you can pack in these bags okay these steel mylar bags if you look the closer you can look is one of these um this is mylar bags also and the look the closer you can look is one of these caprison bags look how it's made the same plastic is inside okay the aluminum foil just to protect it from the sun but that's why you're not gonna have your bags in direct sunlight okay now it because it's written in the back you're gonna just put them like that also so that is okay now when i did the live last time on saturday i told you i'll show you guys how to pack the cheese in a different little small bag that I make myself, okay, from a bigger bag. So I grab a bigger bag and then I just pack them. Like I make a, a bigger bag and then I just cut it in pieces that I want to and then I seal it in three sides and I got a small bag, okay? Let me go ahead and start packing this. So this is the powder cheese, okay? There we go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pack that. Okay. Now I'm gonna hit it a little bit to make sure it goes down. Now I'm gonna do separate uh, separate different bags of cheese just in case somebody when it's time to make it they wanna make only half of it then they can have the exact amount of cheese they need and they don't grab more from the other pack and then somebody end up with no cheese okay and the reason i do two boxes is just to to save um box uh, bags from me okay that's the only reason why i do two boxes now one is like this i just go as slow as i can with my my cheeses and seal it this is all you need to seal your bags okay that's it you don't need nothing else but a flat iron okay let me grab my scissors, hold on a second for me, I'm sorry. Now, once it's sealed like this, see, it's done. I just go ahead and cut my edges because it's so pointy that I don't want them to break my, my leather bag, okay? So I just cut those edges like that. It's sealed, put it in the side. Let's do the other one, okay? I did another bag earlier, all right? Pack it the same way. Okay, done. Let me try to clean the powder around it because otherwise it will not seal, okay? One is done, grab my flat iron. And go as close as I can to the cheese. Okay, that's all I need. Done. And again, I just cut my edges, my corners like that. Oops. Now, once I comb my corners, just put them in the side. Grab my mac and cheese bag that I already put the name and date on what, what it is, okay? And I go ahead and put one bag of cheese, two bags of cheese, okay? And then I go ahead and dump my, 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 my pasta in there. There we go. 
check and card stuff. It looks like it's all the way on top, but that's only gonna just start working your magic and move them down, okay? So it's pretty good. And that's done. Okay, let me get the mess a little. So one that's done, okay? We're gonna go ahead and seal it, okay? But I got two absorbers that I wanna use, so I'm gonna go ahead and do another bag with rice, okay? Let me open this box. This is instant rice. So, let me go ahead and write it down because it's rice. And it's not regular rice, so I'm just gonna put instant rice. Because I do both, I do regular rice or instant rice. So that way they know how to make which one. Then 13, 20, 20. Instant rice, date, and the product, okay? I'll open my bag. There is, now make, make, make sure you're careful when you open your bags because they can rip down here. Okay, it happens to me plenty of times. Okay, grab my rice and start dumping it inside. Okay, I can put some more, so let me go ahead and put some more in there. Okay. And that's it, see? Now, let me put this away so I can seal them. So I'm gonna go, now, those six by nine bags supposed to have uh, 300 cc. I'm so hot, I'm sorry. 300 cc's, but I have a bit experience putting 300 cc, so I like to put a, a 500 cc. And once I put a 500 cc, those things seal perfect, see? They seal very nicely. Look at this one that I seal on the 10th. That I did this when I did the live on Saturday. See, they seal perfectly. You can see how it soaks all the air out, okay? So that's done. The mac and cheese is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out, okay? Now remember, once you open this from the original bag, okay? Make sure, like right now I only got two, so I'm gonna do two. I have packages of 10 each, so if I open a new package, I make sure I get 10 of these. If I don't have 10 of those ready, then I'll just make sure I take whatever I need out and seal the other bags or put them in, in um, Caprizon bags so that way they can be preserved because if you, take over seven minutes they will go bad being honest with you i don't give them seven minutes to me to me they get bad before seven minutes so i give them three minutes so i try to work really fast so that way they don't get warm because once they start getting warm and hot they will go bad okay they will go really really hard too so let me just go ahead and do that so i'm gonna take them out like i said with you know quickly I move it like that, put it inside. Move it like that so it can activate it, put it inside. And then real quick with my body, this is what I've been explaining to everybody. With my body, I try to take as much air as I can out, okay? And if you can with your body, just, just put it like this and fold it down until you get as much air and be careful not to break the bag, okay? Same thing with this one. Start sealing it and fold it down. until you get all that air out, okay? You don't have to get so much air out. It, that's the job from the absorber. But if you help them, it would be a blessing for them. It works less. Now I go, after the seal like that, I go with a flat iron and just seal the edges. That's done. Come back with the other one. Flat iron and seal my edges, okay? That's it. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and sealed, okay? Now you see this little opening right here? It's just like a mile, like a Ziploc bag, okay? So once you rip it, that's why you wanna seal it before over that. Because once you rip that, you'll be able to use the product and if you don't use it all, you still with this Ziploc kind of looking thing right here, you still be able to close it. Now this is done, this is done. I can just put that away to the side. 
and the rice is done, see, because I seal it and everything already. So now I'm gonna put it in the side, you see in a couple of minutes that will completely compact like this one that I did on the tent, okay? Now, like I said, you have seven minutes. If you have, if you bought absorbers, okay, the, the absorbers come more than 10 in one bag, please take the time to open the package without you sealing anything because it's come more than 20. Now, if it comes 60, 30, no, not 30, but if it comes like 60 and up, please use more than one person. If you can use three, four people, better. Because a couple of people can start putting them in, in these bags, like 10 and 10 and 10 or five and five, and the other one goes and sealing, 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 okay? Take the most, most air out as you can and seal it. Why? Because if you leave it in this package and you don't have this, they're gonna go bad, okay? Now this you can only find it in um, discountmylarbags.com. There's a lot of like this look in, in um, Amazon, but it's not the same. Please don't get confused. It's not the same. You cannot use it. Your product will, your absorber will go bad, okay? So these ones, again, you can only use it on discountmylarbags.com. It is on my, um, here on my YouTube page, go to the above on top. It says above, click in there, and all the, um, all the links are there. I put them in there for easier, okay? Um, now let me ask, let me tell you also something. Some people are saying on my comments, on my videos, that the reason I'm doing this because I'm making money off the, these bags and the absorbers and these things, whatever. I'm not, how? I'm just putting the links in there for everybody, okay, to make it more accessible. You can go straight to Amazon, straight to eBay, that don't matter. I was just trying because a lot of people ask me, which ones are the ones you're using? So I put the ones that I use there, okay? This is not about making money. This is about helping everybody, okay? Because I am not making money out of these. I'm not making money out of the bags. I'm not making money out of the absorbers. I'm not making money out of anything you see in there. It's just easy link to put in there so everybody can get through it and don't have to be searching through a lot of different products not knowing if it works or not okay now whatever you put in these bags do not require absorber because they are so little like this four by six or this is the same size do not require any absorbers now in these ones you can put milk without absorber okay you can put anything without absorbers in these ones, anything that is dry and powder, okay? You can do that, like me, like I bought this um, peanut butter. And this peanut butter, what I did, without a sorbet, because I put in the small bags, I put them all in these bags, see? I packed this in September, um, August 25th, I'm sorry. See, this is um, peanut butter and powder. So I put it in here, and then what I did, I just put it back inside of this, so that way when somebody's about to make it, all the instructions start in here so they don't need anything. Or to be guessing well, how can they mix it or something like that. See these little bags? So that's what I did, okay? Put it back in there and you don't have to worry about nothing. The instructions are already there. And peanut butter is a really good source of um, protein. If you don't have no electricity, nothing, we cannot get meat, okay? For any reason. Um, so when you use this, or the smaller bags, you don't have to worry about my I mean absorbers or um, bay leaves. You don't put bay leaves on my bags, okay? I don't care what size is it, you don't do that. You only put bay leaves if you're gonna put rice inside of a plastic bottle like this. Okay, and this you can use, you can put rice on bottles, on, on you know, Pepsi bottles or water bottles. You can put um, rice, you can put sugar, you can put, um, beans, you can put um, frijoles, beans, habichuela, same thing. Um, pastas, but when you put pasta, you have to put pasta, bay leaves, and sea salt, okay? So that is just to get that clarification there. Um, these ones, sugar, let me show you. I can do sugar right now. I have sugar right here, okay? You don't have to put anything on it. Let me get those scoops. So I can scoop it out. Here's my scoop. Okay. So 
there's the sugar. There you go. Put it up here so you guys can see. Sugar. sugar. See, remember that I said the plastic is there? Look at the plastic. Let's see if I can take it out. So you guys see that those plastic that you see in the outside of those see-through minor bags, because I've seen people also put them on my page that those bags are not good because they're see-through. I don't know if you can see it right here. It's the plastic. See how these bags have the plastic right there? Has the plastic inside. So the minor bag has this plastic inside, okay? The aluminum foil just to protect it from the sun. Now, you're not going to have your food in the direct sun, so you'll be okay. All right, so I just put sugar in there, see? No absorber, no nothing, okay? I'm just gonna just put it as low as I can. I'm gonna try it to go, see, as low as I can and tight, that's taking the air out, okay? And then I'm gonna go with my flat iron, as close as I can to the sugar. And that's it, and I'm done. And then I do the same thing with this one. I go ahead and Cut those edges, corners, like rounded like this, so I can never punch any of my other bags. Write down what it is. Sugar and today's date. And that, my dear, is done. You can just put it away, okay? So that's how you packed without needing any absorber, okay? Um, again, it's very important. I cannot stress this enough. Um, bags, the absorbers, you only got seven minutes to manipulate those and make sure you, from the moment you open it, to seal it, okay? Um, like I said, I gave them three minutes. Three minutes because there have been occasions and some that I open it. And I think in the seven minutes, that's thing you know they go bad. So that's why me, personal, even though they say in the packaging seven minutes no three minutes i give him three minutes the other day somebody write down to me that they just bought some absorbers and they said that she got 30 minutes to manipulate them don't do that don't do that because um that's what they said but if it goes bad then you lose your money you know i don't want you all to lose your money lose your product just so just go ahead and put it in through your head three minutes that's it and that way you don't have to worry about, oh my God, it's bad, now what? I have to buy a whole package because this whole package went out, you know, it went bad. So you don't have to really do that. Um, what else can I tell you, my dear? Let me see. Now, we just pack. You see how it's getting? It's getting hard already, okay? It's absorbing already. You see you see the difference? See how it's sucking everything in? Um, even the rice, look. See, start sucking it in. Still not, you can still hear it. So still not completely, obviously, because we just did it, but some products, some people say, oh, I haven't absorbed yet. You know, it takes too long. Some products, depending what it is, it takes longer, okay? Um, it can take four, five, six hours, okay? Um, now, if it goes 24 hours and it have not compressed, it's not gonna work. So what you do, open it back. I don't know because I don't know, it, it can be different things. One of us, you didn't manipulate the, the absorber before you put it there, so it didn't activate it. Which you sometimes activate by himself, but sometimes it doesn't, okay? So if that is the case, many cases, it happens to me. It happens, because it's not you, it's not that you do something wrong, it's the absorber, okay? So what I do in those cases, I open my back. That's why it's so good to close, put it so close, because when you open it, you can close it back out. So I'll open it, I'll grab my, my my absorber. Now if my absorber is soft still, you know, because it's gonna get hard. When it goes bad, it's gonna get like a rock hard. Okay, you will know. But if it's soft that you still manipulate it, then the absorber is still good. So manipulate it again and dump it back in there and seal it back out, okay? Take the, as much air as you can out, like I said, with your hands, like I, you know, take it out, take it out and seal it. That way, it's less work for the absorber and it will completely compress your food the way it's supposed to, okay? Um, when you do the bag, the, the bottles, I will take another day just to do the bottles, okay? Excuse me for a second. So it will take, 
it will take a couple of seconds to um oh i will do a second part i'm sorry i got my stuff with him um i will do another video on how you do the bottles okay and i am gonna do another video to showing you guys what i got in my emergency bags or at least some because i don't have everything yet but i will um but that's how you pack my dear now these bags are six by nine by three because it's six by nine by three because it's open three inches like a like one like one of these um pouches of caprice on the open in the bottom okay um so this is what i did um dog food no this is cereal i'm sorry this is cereal you see how it compressed it's supposed to look like this on these type of bags supposed to look like this okay same thing with dog food same thing with any food you put in these things rice and everything okay um this right here is the package that i did the other day um this right here has three bags from these paper bags the one they give you in the, like, in the corner store okay um those bags and this is number two okay two pounds number two um you can also find them in amazon i would not advise you to buy any amazon i did big mistake it, it cost me 20 dollars for 500 bags but if you have um sam's club sam's club got 500 bags for six dollars and some change so you tell me if i don't almost choke myself for doing that right and i bought it twice in amazon for 20 dollars each when i could just get it for six dollars and some change and um best buy or just go to the corner store if they use it as the owner if you can order some through him okay they are very cheap don't do it in amazon trust me don't so anyway so in this with these bags that's why you see little pouches like this see how big they are what i did i just i just put in these bags oatmeal and then i fold it okay but it was like a pouch like that that's why it looks like that then i put rice and then pasta in the other meaning that i put breakfast lunch and dinner okay and then in the little bags that i made i cut it in half and made little pouches so i put salt in one sugar in the other you can put cinnamon like any condiment that you need in this package and then just put it inside also i also put a, a pouch of peanut butter so these pouches are not gonna go with my regular food this pouch these pouches right here is gonna go with my um emergency backpacks okay um whatever i'm gonna put emergency backpacks i'm gonna put this kind of foods like this packages like this just in case you never know you have to run you never know you have to leave any emergency anything happen you have to leave then you know you can you got those and you still have food okay so it's important to do this one i haven't done like this but in a five gallon okay so it's a whole bunch of rices a whole bunch of everything different okay but to me, this is amazing just to put it in your emergency backpack. That way you can have your food there and just grab a bag and keep it moving without being searching for food, okay? Um, also, you can put some in a Ziploc bag. And so Ziploc bag, just put a little pouch of um, whatever food. A can of spaghetti and meatballs, one water bottle, you know, crackers, you know, a little little bag like this with little snacks and food and just put them in in bags also just to take it if case of emergency you have to leave or any reason okay um but this is the one this is amazing this is amazing i love it i like it you know it's, it's easy to do and you have a whole meal here and two people can eat out of this two not one two okay so that is pretty good right there now things you can pack. The only thing that I will tell you guys you cannot pack on Myler bag Myler bags is um cake um pancake mix. Pancake mix mix you can save it by rotation only. And the reason you cannot save it long term is because it has a component that is also found in the aspirin. Okay, so when excuse me, after a long period of time that component t turns to aspirin and if somebody in your family or somebody that you're gonna feed is allergic to aspirin that would be it or if you become allergic to aspirin later on in life because allergies come and go at any age anytime it don't have to be you born with them okay so if you become allergic without even knowing 
then you're gonna hurt yourself okay so that's the reason why it's not recommended to um, preserve um, cake mix I mean I'm sorry pancake mix for long periods of time now what I do I buy cake mix okay I buy cake mix and then just put the other type of flour or you can buy the flour that is um, made out of yuca let me see. as a matter of fact I can show you a picture of it and that flour is amazing because you can make um, pancake with that too and it's not dangerous whatsoever and it's pretty good for everybody um, I have a picture right here I'm gonna put it right in the in there so you guys can see it so make it easier for you guys to see it let me see if I can find it in here. I got so many pictures of everything because I was showing pictures to everybody last time. Okay, it's right here. Okay, this is it, my dear. Let me see if you can find see it right there. If you can find that flower you can save that one and that one is amazing okay because it's made out of yuca it's not regular or don't have the ingredients that the regular pancake mix have okay so if you can take a screenshot save it try to find it sorry about that try to find it and you can save that one okay also you can save all these potatoes okay this is mashed potatoes they come in different flavors yes you can save those okay i have plenty of those um also if in case it's no meat you know the soy meat you know it is imitation it comes in black and it comes in white that one you can save it and it's amazing and this is how it looks when you start making it okay and after it's made look at that it looks like pepper steak and it tastes amazing because there has no flavor but you give it whatever flavor you want okay so that is amazing so I will advise anybody to get that now cereals you can save a lot of different you can save people ask me about the needle milk yes you can save needle milk with no absorber okay um, this is the this is the soy meat see this is the white one okay yes you can save that meat this is the black one okay so you can save that meat and, it, and it's a lot and that little bag is a lot now another thing that you cannot preserve is brown sugar because brown sugar tends to be wet okay so within time it will get wet like this you see the bottom of that is wet and the brown sugar will get bad and it will get really hard and you cannot bring it back that is really bad okay so those are the things that you cannot. Now, if you buy coffee and your coffee comes compressed already like this one, okay? You see how compressed that comes? That is like a block of, of brick. Then that one you can preserve, okay? Leave it in the same package. Now, if it comes in a, one of those um, folders or something like that, packages, then yes, you have to take it out of there and put it in a mother bag, okay? Um, you can preserve a lot of different cereals. Now, in other pla places, they're gonna tell you, oh, when you put your rice on a plastic bottle, make sure you put um, the paper acorns and then bay leaves. Don't do that. This is what's gonna happen if you do that. How long you think it's gonna take you for you to take all that pepper out so you can cook that rice? You can't, you can't, it's, it's just ridiculous, okay? So don't do that. Um, bay leaves is enough. You don't need to do nothing else but bay leaves with the rice if you put it in a plastic bag, okay? Um, now, once you put the rice in a bottle like that, after a couple of years, your rice is gonna look yellow. I mean, yellow, like that yellow, okay? So we, tested it and this is seven years looks like that but then once you cook it look how nice and bright and white it is okay it will not taste that bay leaf trust me it's proven and the yellow will go away once you clean it and cook it okay 
it will not stay yellow. It's just because of the little powder that comes on top of the rice. That's what it turns yellow. But once you wash it and then once you put it, um, you cook it, trust me, it's gonna be, this is, this is a seven year old rice, okay? So it's yellow like that and look at the comparison. It's yellow, but then once you clean it, it's perfect, perfectly white and it tastes amazing too. It don't taste no bay leaf. Bay leaf do not give your food um, any type of taste whatsoever, okay? because you're not cooking it with that, okay? It's just there. And it's to prevent these little black bugs that grows in in grains, okay? Um, it's called, I don't know in English what it's called, but it's called gorgojos, okay? So they grow inside of your rice. So if you don't put anything to prevent that, it will grow. So you do that and then also your bag, your bottle on top, let me show you. Whoever been in my life, I did this. After you completely compress and everything is done and you put bay leaves, bay leaves, bay leaves, and bay leaves on top. And then when you're done, just seal it with um, candle wax. So this is candle wax around it. Once you seal that, then you put it with tape to protect that candle wax, okay? So once you do that, it's done. Put it away, no problem. The candle wax is to prevent any bugs to go in. The bay leaves is to prevent any bugs to grow in there. Okay, so it will keep it fresh. Um, and then you put the tape to protect the candle wax because you know that will, if, if it rubs against something, it will lose, it will go lo get loose. Okay, so that's just to protect the rice. I mean, the bottle, I'm sorry, the candle wax from the bottle. Um, wow, this is getting, look, it's getting, it's getting really, really, really hard already. Okay, that's like I told you, it, it, it will happen quick. But if it doesn't happen quick, I mean, you're using a smaller, look at this. You can barely hear it now. Remember that you hear? You can barely hear it now, right? So it's absorbing the whole air out. It's still got a long way to go, okay? Even though it's, you can even hear, you can hear it no more like you used to. So it's, it's still gonna take a little more time to completely seal it perfectly hard like this okay this is like a block already okay same thing you can do with your beans frijoles habichuelas see okay let me write this down i didn't even write this down i did this last saturday 10 10 20 20 i'm not gonna put what it is because i can see what it is it's nothing special like this one that is instant rice or this one that is two boxes of mac and cheese so i just put the date because i can see that it's that type of bean so i just put the date on it and i put the date on the 10th because that's when i did it um i did it in the life when i did the life on saturday okay um again any questions please let me know just make sure you save all your little um caprice on bags because you will save money if you do that okay um, I'm not here to make sure you spend money. I make sure I want to make sure that you, that money you want to spend on bags, you just get it on food, right? So, um, kids in the neighborhood, your friends, family, if you got kids, those capris on bags, please make sure you just save them, wash them, cut the top real nicely, wash them, put into dry. Make sure every time you're gonna use this, 100% dry, okay? put into dry and then you use it you pack whatever you want in there okay any type of seasoning any type of seasoning you can put in there and nothing has an absorber all right any questions please let me know i'm always trying to check on my messages especially on um, tiktok um you can find me on tiktok also as india underscore ruiz okay um Again, thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you so much for following me. I'm sorry, that's my dog. CJ, thank you so much for everything. You guys have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. And every Saturday, I try to do a live every Saturday on TikTok. So if you're not following me, go ahead and follow me on TikTok so you can keep up with all of the life because we go above and beyond on, on the life. On the life that we do, it's, it's amazing. And when we do those lives, we talk about everything. People ask me tons of questions and I come with all those tons of answers, okay? And if I don't know an answer, trust me, I'll find it. 
Um, I will never give you false information. I will never misguide you, okay? I will teach you what I know, okay? I want you to know as much as I know because I want you to take care of yourself and your family. So, again, thank you so much for coming to my channel. I hope you enjoy. I hope this helped. Again, any questions, please let me know. And you have a blessed one. Ciao, ciao.